Hello everyone, welcome back to the Comics Den. My name is Angelo. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We're going today to look at a personal collection. I'll keep the intro nice and short. I'll bring you guys back once we get there. It's not a huge one, but definitely going to pack some punch, I think. So it'll be a really cool day. It's not a lot, so I didn't know if this is good enough light or if we need it in there. This, so almost full, and then all of this here. Okay. So that put into there would be a little bit over a long box, I think. All right, cool. You wanted to get rid of everything together, right? Yeah, that if was I the can. Biggest thing. Yeah, just because if I'm going to take the time to get rid of stuff that I kind of want. I totally get it. Um, these are going to be pretty much anywhere from, I, I went through and pretty much on the back of them, um, found prices on eBay and stuff like that. Okay. This is going to be all the way up to about 15 bucks here. And then this goes starting at 20. Oh, so you're already kind of like pre-priced everything. To, Oh, cool, right? You know, because that's the something's killing the children, one in 20, number seven. Mm, I remember you had a bunch of those, like, variants and yeah. incentives in here. Yeah. I'll just go through the books and then yeah. see what you have. How you been, though, man? You've been buying any new books, or? Literally, I went to the comic shop yesterday, and it's the first book I bought since I canceled my sub. Oh, really? What'd you grab? Yeah, um, I'll show you. It's the something's killing the children book. The, it was an FOC variant, and it was just really nice looking. Savage Wolverine. That's a cool one there. Some nice modern variants. So these are the ones you decided to let go of from your personal collection? Yeah, for the most part. Like I said, I can still, I want to get down to like one long box. Mm. And I'm right now I'm about out of long box and a quarter. There's about 60 more books that I can get myself to get rid of. Then I'll have one bo long box left and I'll be happy with that. Yeah. Um, but this is the one I picked up yesterday. Oh, that was from New Comic Book Day, right? Yeah. Called them, they're like, we got one in. I was like, can you hold it for me? Nice mixture of DC and Marvel in here. Miles Morales. Yeah, it's an indie, of course. If it said 220, I'd price them in there at 200, and then pretty much half of that would be, you know, where I'd be, because it's books I don't need to get rid of. You know, I like them, yeah. but if I'm going to get rid of them, then I would like to get, you know, at least half. Exactly, yeah, you've been holding on to these for a while, right? Yeah. It's hardly playing. This is a nice DC section back here with the Harley, the Batman White Knight stuff. Yeah, the Batman White Knight stuff, yeah. Back, bro. Yeah, I love uh, Sean Murphy, but I was just that thing, I'm like, am I gonna read all these individual comics again? And I was like... Yeah, right, you might as well just get the trades and... Uh, right, and even those, like I got tons of trades that I'm thinking about getting rid of as well. Just... Trades, but quite a few trades. All yeah. the deadly class. Trades are a little harder to sell, but yeah. sometimes you can like lot them up and stuff. And yeah, that's what I was like. If I got rid of them, like I think I got all of the deadly class except for either the last one or the one right before the last one. Batman ninety. What issue is this? First appearance of someone on that. No, right? eighty nine is the first appearance of Punchline. Mm. So I okay. think ninety might be like a first appearance of like the designer. Just to sleep. Um, Electra. Oh, these spider verses are cool. Yeah. Ben Riley, number one variant. Not yeah, Alex Wilson. Hey, you got some really nice variants I in here. That one's a one in 25 for the Alex Maleev. Oh, that's a sick one there, too. Cool Daredevil books back here. Fantastic Four, 325 with the Surfer. The lenticular covers. Yeah, that Batman 90 is the first full appearance of the designer. Mm. Not anything huge, but... That's a cool hip-hop variant there on Uncanny. Yeah. Mr. Freeze? Von Freeze, Black Label. Yeah, it kind of goes in with the White Knight a little bit. Dark Avengers number one, that's a sick one. And the Dark Rain. Yeah. Batman. Oh, look at that Spawn cover, that's sick. Yeah, J. Scott Campbell. That's a sick one. Department of Truth, looks like a first print on that one. Walking Dead, maybe? Yeah, it's issue one of the reprints. It's a, I think it's a date variant. Amazing Spider-Man one-shot. With Howard the Duck, looks like some... Scotty Young. Oh, that's a cool one there, too. Daredevil 7. Yeah. I know you had a lot of nice Scotties. Put them together that way. Is it a connecting set? Yeah. That Oh, that's cool. Take really good care of your stuff. Yeah, I was happy when I saw that, like, you had uh, graded them. Because, um, like I said, I thought about it, but I'm like, ah, I just don't. I don't really want to do it. So when you did it, it kind of 
validated me and my collection going, ooh, I did take good care of myself. Exactly, I thought, yeah. I thought I did, <laughs> you know, but I was like, seeing him come back like that, I was like, well. Yeah, it was definitely a nice surprise because I actually pre-screened them 9.6. Okay. So when they came back 9.8s, I was definitely surprised. Yeah. yeah. These are nice, nice Turner covers here and stuff. Oh, this is a cool one here. First yeah. Abigail brand, Ventures 57. Oh yeah, Scotty Young. Yeah, these are harder to find. Yep. Red Sonia. Some nice Red Sonia. Virgin variant. Miss Marvel variant. Spawn. Michael Turner. This is a cool one too. Nine issue eight, the black and white. Paper girls. Silver surfer. Marvel Tales. Never seen that before. It was hard for me to pick some of those Silver Surfer ones and put in there. And I was like, ah. And I think that's a wraparound cover too with a bunch more on it. New Ronin, New Avengers, you got four. And then you got a couple more books back here. Some Darth Vader, Scotty Young. Mm -hmm. That's a fun one. And then Batman Europa. And these are some of the more expensive ones, I guess? Yeah, it starts, like I said, it starts at like about 20 bucks, roughly what I've seen, and then it goes all the way back. More Gwen. Have you looked inside this at all? And like, I I have never opened it up. Hmm. Okay. Is there something supposed to be like, are, like the stamp thing or? Yeah. Well, just sometimes it's good to check them. I always like to oh, check God, the just silver age. Just to, yeah. Bit. Sometimes gotcha. kids back in the day would rip out stuff. Just rip stuff out. They gotcha. like the way it looked or something. Yeah. So yeah. So I have never, if anything, even if you want, if you want to open them and everything, I'm fine with that because there's a few more uh, Fantastic Four like. Uh, oh, here you go. That one, there's some even earlier than there's the one with the thing on it. And 21, that one's really cool. Yeah. Um, with, I think that's Airwalker on the cover. I think like 74, 72. I don't know. There's a couple Rider. good ones in there. With G.I. Joe. Yeah, the silent issue. Oh, that's a fun Scotty. Issue number one. Yeah, it's one of the earlier ones, I think. Uh, Mortal Men. This is their first, first appearance, right? Yeah, and that's signed by Jim Lee. I don't have a um certificate or anything but that was one that when you at coliseum you paid like 18 bucks and they gave you five first printings of some new books one of them signed and then you could take two things to be signed by him oh sick you got the damien yeah black panther this is a nice box here yeah that's that's why i tried to separate them into you know like this like you said the back of this one's nice and then you get into this box i think it comes out to just a little under three grand for the prices that i found on them um, so it's kind of like if you buy that one, then you're saving almost a grand there, plus getting this box for free in a way. You know what I mean? Batman Red Hood. Yeah, there's. I don't. I don't think it's a first appearance, but it's like a twenty, thirty dollar book or something. Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. That's the second print variant on the black and white. Number one signed by Scotty. Yep. Is that one ever see away? No. no. I got it signed at Coliseum. Scotty covers. Oh, this one's cool here. Yeah. Venom 150. I remember, I don't know if it's in here, the um, the one book I was looking forward to that you sent me the picture of. Let's see if you have it in here. Oh, it isn't. Yeah, this is a really nice if I box. I recently sent you this book. It should be in there. The uh, Scotty Young Moon Knight? It should be in there. It's this is a nice, you got some nice Fantastic Fours here. Yeah, again, it was hard to get rid of some of those earlier ones with the Silver Surfer on it. 75. Guardians of the Galaxy variant. Oh, this one's killer too. The Campbell. Campto number one. That's a cool foil cover. And that was like a 150 on the. Oh, the Alex first. Ross. That, that one I think has a. That's a dynamic forces. It should have something on the back, I think. Oh, that's sick. Certified it's Captain America 600. Only 1,699 copies. Such a weird number. Yeah. Last Ronin. A fantastic Four with Silver Surfer. Number one, the Jenny Frizen variant first print. Oh, is it? Yep. What does this one go for? Um. 70 bucks? Yeah, somewhere in there. Like I found some that were higher, some that were a little lower, so I tried to go in the middle. First core vowel signed by Capullo. Yeah, no certificate, got it, like a con sign. <laughs> Yeah, right, you almost need to take a picture or something. Yeah. <laughs> Another foil variant. Oh, that's a cool one too. The Shuri. Yeah. 
Black Panther 1. Cable and Deadpool, signed by Scotty. Right. That's the final issue, so they, they get a little bit harder to find when they're like that. Isn't this a little key? I thought there was like a key in I here. I think so, but I'm not totally sure. Fantastic Four 72. Yeah, these Fantastic Fours are nice. Yeah, that one's pretty faded. Yeah. But yeah, that one and the one before, um, someone got for me that I was like, I don't need a whole lot of those. I'll get there later. <laughs> Ooh, the Momoko. And that's a one in 1,000 from free comic book day. Wow. Oh, the Morbius. I love this one. I have this in my personal collection in a 9-8. This is a cool one. Nap in peace. <laughs> Tukey. Got Danger Girl. And then here's the, probably the book I was most excited about. <laughs> the Moon Knight number one. Did you see the one that just came out Wednesday? Yeah, I grabbed two copies of it actually. I saw it when I went in there. I was about to pick it up and I was like, no, I don't need to do that. <laughs> this one's really nice too though, the Campbell on Gamora. Yeah. And then the final book, the one in 25. What issue is this of something special? This is seven. Mm. And it's weird because it's a it's a one in twenty. It's not even a one in twenty five. So I don't know. This is a nice box. These silver surfers on these Fantastic Fours are really cool. Yeah. Like I said, anything you want to open up, you're more than welcome to to check anything. Like I said, I haven't. What is this? The... Oh, that's oh, the Batman, Batman Damned. Damned. Yep. So first printing, the censored, not censored. That's a one in twenty five, I think, on that blight. Yeah. Um, the Batman Damned. I feel like it's just best to sell them as a as a group. Because nobody wants two and three, really, but if you give them a little deal and they get one with it... Right there. Okay, cool. There you go. I knew there was one with Galactus, and I was like, I felt like it was just two of them. Yeah, that one's pretty pricey, isn't it, I think? I'm not sure. <laughs> Excellent. Like I said, all these in here, I haven't even uh, taken the time to look them up, because I was like, I like that series, I calculated, man. That's a nice variant there, yeah. the Stormbreakers. Avengers, Damien, wow, a lot of keys and variants. It's pretty much what you collect, right? It depends. Like, when I was reading Batman, I had everything from 86 all the way up to, like, 127, because I was reading every single issue. Dead of the Class, I had all the issues. Um, there was a few things, but most of the stuff that I read was, like, short runs, 1 through 12, 1 through 10, you know, things like that. Um, and that's a connecting set with this one. It's a Batman Incorporated issue one. And oh, that's two. Sick. Not like that one with Alex Maleev. Issue two with the stained glass. Yeah. We Just something to... about him in a church or, you know. That's nice there. Michael Turner on Thor number one. Punchline and Catwoman on Catwoman yeah. 49. Well, that's a nice one there on 52. And you don't have a number on, on these boxes, right? Like you no, said, like you don't I said, have these anything. are the ones that I, I still want to hold on to, so I didn't even take the time to look up prices on anything, because I feel like if I know the prices, then it, I might go, uh oh, I don't need to hold on to this if this is $150 or, mm -hmm. you know. Definitely some great books in the personal collection still. Says maybe he'll give me a call if he ever decides to uh, sell them and get them all priced up. But we did end up picking up the collection. Did cut me a little bit of a deal. Felt like we definitely got a, a decent price for everything. There's some really nice books in here too still. So this box is, is definitely going to help pay off the collection a little bit. But the majority of the collection is definitely inside here with this stuff. So comment down below and let me know what you think of these books. There's definitely some cool key issues and variants. So this is like where I started. At first I was taking my time doing all the colored stuff. Oh, they're a cool like tattoo design. Yeah, that's where a lot of my ideas kind of sit is very tattoo oriented. And then I was like, oh, that's taking so long. So then I started getting into just doing little sketches. Oh, those are cool. How long does it take you to do one of these? Um, usually if I sit down, maybe an hour-ish, depending on what I put into it. I did this little watermelon guy last night. My girl likes the fruit series that I've been doing. Do you sell these on your comic noggins Instagram or? I mean, I will, but I mean, I'm always down to sell stuff. That's cool. And then one of my workers at work at Target, loves the Target dog, so I did one of those for her. That's <laughs> cute. I really like this one here, that's sick. Yeah, that came out nice. The Silver Surfer cards? Yeah. Got in nice, like hard cases. And these toys back here. 
What, what line of toys are these? It depends. These um these are by a guy named Joe Ledbetter. I can't remember what these were called, um, but there are certain ones that, like this one is called the Finders Keeper set, which is one of the first sets I, he did. Collect sketchbooks from different artists. So this is like a set of J. Scott Campbell sketchbooks. He went through some of the books that were in the store and without telling anybody, he signed them and left them on the shelves just so people could happily buy a book and find it signed. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and I happened to get like, I think one, two, and three ended up being signed. 33 of this casting and I have 16 of them. But most of the ones I have are the ones that are like 150, 160 bucks. It's hard for me to justify 160 bucks on a Hot Wheel. <laughs> oh, wow. I had no idea Hot Wheels were that expensive. Yeah, so oh, they, that's, and that's not even really expensive as they can get. So you went to a show and picked this up? Yeah, they have one every third Sunday of the month at the VFW on Goldenrod. It's like two bucks to get into, so it's like, if you're into that stuff, two bucks to like a whole walk Hot around. Wheel show? Yeah, it's like, yeah, all die cast in general, not just Hot Wheels. And then you can hang them up. Oh, that's really nice display. Yeah, it's got two little holes from the, yeah, so I'm like, dollar 25 for these things we're gonna pack all this in the car got our two boxes right here i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment down below what you thought and we'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day everybody